Hey everybody, Charlie Niner 2 here and welcome to Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition. What do I know about this game? Well, I know it's a Metroidvania that is supposed to have great music and great visuals. That's it. That's all I know about it. So, let's check out help and options real quick. That's what I've got it set up as. Controls, we're using Xbox controller. I think there'll probably be a tutorial that'll help us with that. Map is the window button there. Okay. Leaderboards, weird. I don't know why there'd be leaderboards for this, but I'm sure we'll find out. Theater, I'm assuming we can watch cutscenes? I don't know. Let's start game. Lots of empty slots. Easy, normal, hard, one life. For players seeking a good challenge, average difficulty. Ori is weak against the blight of the forest for advanced players. Let's go normal for now. Maybe we can change that as we go. We shall always remember the night. When I lost Ori to the great storm. Or he's part of a tree. may bump the game audio up just a bit. So who's this guy? Alright, give me just a second. I'll be right back after adjusting the audio. Okay, I bumped it up 5%. We'll see how that does. Alright, so we are this guy. So Ori is the leaf thing. We are this big shadow mask dude who walks very slowly. Oh my god. Swallow's nest. Look like a spirited away character. Okay, so it is a leaf. Okay, it's no longer a leaf. Some type of a spirit, I guess. When Naru embraced my light, so are we Naru? As a child of her own. Are we we playing? We are. So this is Ori, I take it? Look at that animation, man. Quality is top notch. Was this 2016? Okay, single jump. What do any of the other buttons do? Nothing right now. Just move around. Trees have an X on them. Hello, Nehru. Aw, that's adorable. Okay, so we're exiting out the trees that we've gotten fruit out of? Swing. Oh man, the, <laughs> the jump. Look how tiny that jump is and it's difficult. Oh, tons of those there. Okay, so we've ran out of fruit on the trees that we're hitting the X's on. I get it. Building a bridge. We 
We made it. All the oranges or whatever these are that we want. Amazing. Nervous about the storm? On that fateful night. When I let the skies ablaze. Called out to Ori. Naru doesn't want to lose us. Is that what that is? Yet hope never came. Up, oh, we're this thing again. No jumping this time. Just sadness. Oh. Well, this doesn't look good. Through the passage of time, did the water drop? Fruit's gone. A little bit here. Hmm. Life withered and decayed. When the forest was blind. Still may boost the game volume just a little bit more. I want you guys to hear that awesome music. We'll wait till uh, we take control again. Okay. Still hope showed its face. Okay, this may be a good time. Let's try that. All right. Oh, why are we seeing ghosts of Nauru? Is Nauru dead? We can't start a game off like that. These are just memories, right? Happy memories. Yeah, because we're here. Okay. Uh-oh. What is this thing in the foreground there? I don't like that. Good storytelling here, though. Good, good use of visuals for that. There you go. We brought oranges. Don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Better not be dead. Oh no, this is some Lion King stuff right here. Oh, this is horrible! Oh, taking up a Batman pose. An orphan once more.
No reason to stay. Oh, no jumps. Searching for my light. So weak and frail. That animation, when cries were met with silence. And hope went astray. Oh, the little sad rabbit monkey. Her feet no longer work. When my child's strength faltered. And the last breath was drawn. Light revived Ori, and a new age had dawned. Achievement unlocked. The journey begins. So I am doing display capture on this, so you guys will see the achievement pop-ups. I could turn those off, but I mean, some people like to see them. All right, so we now have a more video gamey jump. We've got what appears to be a head of lettuce beside of the number zero. Does anything else do anything? It doesn't appear to. Map? We do have map. 1% of sunken glades. Toggle player and objectives. Map legend. Leave that on for now. Zoom. Navigate and back. Okay. Whoa. We can jump pretty darn far. Look at that. Sometimes with a flip. Okay, that looks... Uh, yep, dangerous. Didn't know if that was foreground or not. So, is that health down below? Possibly. A little slotty. More so than I would expect. Not as tight of controls as Hollow Knight, but maybe good enough. Hold A to jump higher, so yeah, the longer you hold the button, the higher you jump. Pretty standard fares, sunken glades. Can't make that jump. And we can't go back. Can make this jump. Well, that doesn't look like something we should touch. Uh, is this a physics thing where we need to rock back and forth? Yeah, we're not jumping over there. Okay. Hold and press to jump down. Okay. Standard fare. Hold down. What was that? You found a small spirit light container. Spirit light has been added to your circle find more spirit light containers to quickly gain ability points so is that xp bar then i believe so what is this should we touch this i don't think we should touch that it's very spiky can we swim i doubt it these are placed just at jumping distance 
What is this? Health. Found a life shard. Collect these. Restore vitality. Okay. Get a jump going here. What's this? Found an energy cell. You can now collect and use more energy. Oh, that's left side of the bar. Remember that you can use energy to create a soul link and save your game. Hold B to create a soul link and save your game. You know what? I'll go ahead and do that. Game saved. Was that here only we could do that at this flower or is that anywhere? Just as long as we have energy. Mushrooms are affected by traverse. Um, how do we attack? We don't. We just get it to run into that apparently. Found some spirit light. When you fill the dull nut, you gain an ability point. So, ability point. Light RPG mechanics. Is there a skill tree? There are skills that are locked. Time. Map completion, I assume. Deaths. Don't know what that is. That's the energy. That's life. Don't know that one yet. World events. See a volcano. We have that to look forward to. Okay. Soul Link is ready and we've gained an ability point. Create a Soul Link and tap B near it to access the ability tree. What if I don't want to create a new one? Can I just go to the one I already made? See if that's how this works. So I made this one, right? Oh, can we not get back up? Oh, no, we can. Tap B. Oh, all right. So this is totally new. Spar indicates how much spirit light or he collected. Absorb 36 more to gain another ability point. So we get to choose between. Allows reuse and soul links and shortens the cooldown timer. Spirit magnet. Most pickups now float to me. Quick Flame allows you to shoot three flames before recharging. So these are offensive, right? These are utility. Map markers. That's definitely something we want to be able to do. Life pickups restore twice as much. Ultra Spirit Magnet. Energy Efficiency. Ability markers. Makes ability cells show up. Increase the spirit light gain from absorbed spirit light. That's pretty good. That's basically just more XP. Energy markers. Sense. See through walls and find hidden areas. Okay. Good stuff there. Rekindle. Uh, allows reusing soul links and shortens the cooldown timer. That's not bad either. So we can save multiple times at the same soul length. Regroup. Create a soul link that restores one life cell. So we can heal ourselves with mana, basically. Charge flame efficiency halves the cost of charge flame. Air dash. Mm. Requires double jump, so we know we get that. Is double jump an ability we learn? Or is it one we find? Ultra soul link. Create soul link for two life cells. Charge dash. Breathe in clean water. Soul link efficiency has the cost. Triple jump. Okay. Ultra defense. Reduces the damage inflicted by enemies. Is double jump here? I don't think it is. It's air dash. We got fire. More fire. Charge the fire. Two enemies at once. Ultra Light Burst increase the strength and radius of Light Burst. Further increase the strength of Spirit Flame. Stomp. Rapid Flame. Charge Flame. Ultra Spirit Flame. So what do we want to do? Out of these three, we can reuse Soul Links, Spirit Magnet, or Quick Flame. Allows you to shoot three flames before recharging. Offense. I want to go with Spirit Magnet for now. Choices, choices. 
Why? Because getting more pickups will allow us to get more abilities quicker. And I like that tree, the utility tree. Being able to place markers on the map sounds huge. Can we go in here? As well as getting more XP in general. All right, we went down here already, so we need to go up. Deep in the forest, Ori found what was lost. What is this? Tiny light? Is this our attack? My strength is returning. I am sign. The light in the eyes of the spirit tree. I was lost in this glen when she loosened her grip. I can guide you on your journey if you allow me to come. But still, can you hear that? They must have followed you here. So you're my Navi, my fairy? Oh, you're how I attack. Tap X repeatedly kind of sad that we can't just hold X because tapping X is really gonna affect my my soreness of my thumb here okay so it is kind of homing so you gotta focus on dodging while you do this alright we have defeated enemies. Their lights shall return to me. These words the tree spirits once said. In the glade past the caverns, we'll find him. There's a path up ahead. Oh, so this is a uh, overworld map here. So this is where they want us to go, I think. Oh, yes. Okay. It's where we are. That's our soul link, I believe it's called. So we need to double back this way. Okay. Let's do it. I'm assuming enemies are just now everywhere. Yep. And then there's the magnet at play. Get some health back too. Ability tree. But not save. Okay, so we're like purifying the forest, right? This is health? Yes. Okay, it shoots. Good to know. So yeah, I think those may have been lost unless I jumped at just the right time for those. Okay, can't attack that up above. Can we go this way? What is this? So we got an ability point. Spirit wells are an ancient structures that we are used to quickly traverse all of Nibble. Nibel? Nibble? The light of spirit wells will also replenish your strength when you are weary. Save your game or warp. Oh, so we can save from here too. Good to know. Let's go use our ability point. How do enemies respawn? Do we have to zone? Nope. They just respawn on their own. Once you get far enough away. But it also looks like the health respawns too. So that's not too bad. Alright. So. We can continue down this tree and get map markers. Makes most pickups show up on the map. Yeah. Let's do that. I imagine each ability point is going to cost more. Whoop! Oh, I screwed that up. Get out of here. <laughs> wow, did I just die, die? I did. Okay, I got to be way more careful. Well, there's our first death from me trying to rush back to where we were. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's take our time. Let's take our time. Do it right first time 
There we go. And we can once again save here. I don't think we can jump up there, at least not yet. And if we check out our map, there are markers for stuff. What is this light that's up there? Spirit light container. I don't think we can reach it from down here. Okay. We found this one. Jump over this way. Jump over that. Destroy this stuff. So we're leveling up quickly now, but I'm sure that will slow down with time. There's a rock here. Oh, we can move it. I thought we would need an ability for that. Thankfully we don't. There's a shard of something. Found a keystone. Keystones are used to open spirit gates. Remember that each spirit gate will require a different number of keystones. So is that a consumable to open a spirit gate, or am I missing something here? So it looks like we can jump over this way. Uh, there's something in the water down there. The spirit gate blocks us. They were built for protection before the days of decay. Required keystones must be nearby. To reach the spirit tree, you must pass spirit caverns that lie beyond this gate. So yeah, if we look down, it's like a weird fish thing down there. So we're going to have to go up here, this way, this way, I'm assuming that's all we need. Yep. All right. Oh, okay. Hollow Grove, Black Root Barrows, Spirit Caverns. We should probably go ahead to the tree first before we start exploring a bunch. Shouldn't have took damage there. I didn't realize what I was looking at. Spirit Caverns, check the map. So we need to head up there. There's a path down, it looks like. Let's check that out. Oh, he can shoot through the ground. I didn't think that was the case. Found an energy shard. Restore power to Ori's energy cells. Don't know what that means. Oh, that's health. Okay, I thought that was an enemy. I like the attack method. I wish you could just hold the button down. Though. That's, that's kind of my one complaint with that. That may be a little OP if you did that, though. Um, let's go check out down, because that may be a one-way there. What is this? Astrolabe? This is a map stone, one of the many ancient markers created to chart the forest of Nibel as it grew. There's a piece missing. If we can find the map stone fragment, we might be able to repair it. Do we have it? No, we don't have it. Is it here? No, that is to open one of the gates. So yeah, the animation and just overall visual look is stunning on this. Uh-oh. Have I screwed myself by jumping down here? I think I have. Well, looks like we're heading down this way.
Alright, we've got an ability point. We'll use it in a minute. Health. And jump. Yeah, I like the magnet, because there's a lot of those that were like in the spikes that I don't think I would have been able to easily get. There were those that turned to hope. What was that? When she ravaged and killed. Who ravaged and killed? The light of the spirit tree lives in all of us. He is the reason we're alive. He is the reason we grew. When he called out for you many years past, we were attacked, wounded, and killed by our foe. Now these ancestral trees are all that's left behind. Come closer now, fill the light of Phil, the spirit inside. Hello, Phil. We've learned wall jump. Use this ability, push towards the wall, and press A continuously to leap upwards. So these are abilities. I like that. All right, so here's where we're going to end this episode. I think if we hold this button, we can save our game. And we can access the ability tree. And that won't get saved because we've already saved our game. So we'll do that next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.